So in the event you decide to use a dedicated specialty printer for making the labels of the items in your stock, in this video I'm going to show you how this works with Katana. Now again, this type of printing using the PDF printable files is best done when you are actually adopting barcodes for your workflows. These things can print out a lot of labels pretty quickly and they can do it on the spot when you need them. I wouldn't really encourage using this to label thousands of items in your inventory because they have the tendency to heat up if um, you're using them and printing thousands of labels at a time. Now, there are hundreds of different types of label printers available on the market from the dozens and dozens of suppliers all across the world. At the end of the day, what's important is that you can recognize this as a printable device with your computer. Uh, it will accept that PDF document and uh, you can put in the specifications for the size of the label and then off it goes. Um, with Katana's standard barcode label uh, template for the PDF, I believe it's around um, five and a half centimeters by 5.1 centimeters for the label size. Uh, and for this, for this item, uh, I do have a two and a half inch by two inch label size, which I can print through this as a default standard. Um, but there is a mismatch. So actually what this is doing is it's printing out um, two labels when I only want one, but one has print on it and the other one is blank. So you have to be, um, you have to fiddle around with the settings for the printer as well as the settings under the print templates for the barcode labels. Now, these barcode labels, something that I have to point out in the setup is that when you actually get to the point where you're going to define the size of the barcode labels that you're going to make using one of these guys, um, you'll need to uh, specify that for each type of document. So as part of the process, what you have to do is when you're using this regularly and not for the purposes of labeling things for the first time, you'll actually need to create a duplicate of that and then go into it and do the editing. We'll talk about the editing after a bit when we go into the details of the next videos using this within our workflows. But as a starting point, let me show you how it works so you can get a feel for when we go into the next level details regarding the PDF uh, templates that you can edit. Now, um, on the stock screen, making those first labels for your inventory, you can select an item like so, choose bulk actions and select print, and then choose barcode label. This is the default one in Katana, and this is what it will look like on the screen. When you go to print that out, you'll select the print option here, and then choose the destination as the printer that you'll be using. In my case, it's a zebra printer, and this uses a roll. And um, I highly encourage you to look into the more settings here because these are some of the printer specific settings. And in my case, I chose a two and a half by two inch label, which is similar to the sizes that I'll get printed out from this machine. And uh, once you've got everything more or less sorted or squared away with your settings here, you will just choose print and then out it will print a label. And then this label will be made available right here like so, and you can peel it off and slap it onto something to be scanned later in your inventory. Now you can see how useful that is, especially if you're receiving uh, purchase orders, because you'll just be able to print those out and then put them on the items that arrive in real time. Really, really simple and super easy to use and very effective from that perspective. Now, I'm only just printed one here. Um, if you're in a situation where you need to print, like let's say five of those labels, then once you've got your printer settings and your template settings all tuned in to be the way that they need to be, you can select the print option here, barcode label, it'll make the PDF file like correctly like so, but what you'll need to do at that point is select the number of copies that you need. Again, it's always good to just check out the settings just in case. 
Um, and then I'll look at the PDF print preview and it'll show you just in general, general thing like so. But let's go ahead and print out multiples so you can see how that would look and how useful that can be. All right, so here we go. And then it just sends me all of my labels as required. Take those off and then label all of the items that need stickers. So that's how you use a label printer to make the printed labels for the items in your inventory. Um, and then next up, we will cover some of the topics related to the PDF templates and how those work inside of the app. So it makes it possible for you to use this all the time in your operation.